Hey, it's Anusha and Mahima, and in this video, we will be showing the process behind making paneer tikka. It is key to make sure that one washes their hand with soap and water before starting the preparation and cooking process in order to ensure that there is prevention of bacterial contamination. Before the vegetables are cut, it is important to wash them and to make sure that they are only washed right before they are being cooked to prevent bacteria from developing from the moisture, such as salmonella and E. coli. First, to prepare the vegetables needed in this dish, cut two tomatoes first in long two pieces and then cut them again to make small pieces and after put them in a bowl. Next is to cut the bell pepper in half horizontally, each half the long way approximately four times and then to cut the pieces the other way three times to have the most ideally cut bell pepper for this dish. After the bell pepper is cut, place it in a bowl and then start to cut the onion. Between cutting different vegetables, wash the cutting board in order to ensure hygiene. Additionally, it is important to use the vegetables soon after they are cut due to enzymatic browning because of oxidation. The onion is first chopped at the ends and then cut into halves, the horizontal way in long pieces and then small pieces the other way. Once all the vegetables are cut and placed into their separate bowls, cut one lemon into half or squeeze two tablespoons of lemon juice into a small bowl. To chop the paneer, first long cuts are made four times and short cuts approximately six times, making the paneer into small cubes. Then take a small piece of ginger and three cloves of garlic and grate it into a small bowl to make for one tablespoon of grated ginger and three minced garlic cloves. Place the chopped ingredients to the side and start to make the marination mixture. Take a large bowl and add one cup of 2% yogurt, one tablespoon of red chili powder, one tablespoon of chopped masala, one tablespoon of garam masala, three fourths tablespoon of powdered turmeric, one half teaspoon of pepper and one teaspoon of salt. Then add the chopped paneer and mix it well so that all the pieces are coated in the marination mixture. While the paneer is marinating, take a medium sized saucepan, put it on medium heat and add three tablespoons of olive oil to the pan. When the olive oil is heated, add the ginger garlic mixture and saute it in the oil until it is a golden brown. Then repeat the same process adding onion first, then bell pepper and tomatoes. By allowing for the vegetables to directly touch the heating surface, a conduction method of heat is used in order to cook this dish. Sautéing the vegetables allows for retention of fat-soluble vitamins, however it might lead to the loss of some such as vitamin C. Additionally, it allows for the vegetables to become brighter in color and softer in texture. After the paneer is marinated for 15 minutes, set aside the pan of sautéed veggies, put another saucepan on the heated surface, and pour the paneer mixture onto the pan. Sauté the paneer and close the lid after a minute for two minutes. Then, remove the lid and mix the paneer again and put, it back, put the lid back on for another two minutes. After the paneer is cooked and the sides are browned, add it to the sautéed vegetables in the other pan and put it back on the heat. Mix and sauté until all the ingredients are well mixed together and cooked. Then, transfer it into a serving bowl and enjoy it by itself or with the side of either rice or roti. This dish can be preserved for up to two to three days in the refrigerator with the temperature at around 40 degrees Fahrenheit.